this is Sabir Foundation. And from the Sabir Foundation, I am here, Sabir, welcome you all to the first online based course introduction to basic GIS course. Okay, Sabir Foundation is a dedicated and open research group of art and environmental sciences. Here, we mainly focus on learning education and its open education and we create, we produce a research paper and this foundation is dedicated for all who are interested in art and environmental sciences. So welcome you all to our Sabir Foundation. Okay, today I'm gonna start um, introduction part of ArcGIS. Uh, LearnGIS is one of the uh, lecture series of Sabir Foundation. So today you will learn about the introduction of ArcGIS 10. So I am Sabir Ahmed from Janginagar University, Dhaka and Bangladesh. In the whole lectures of introduction to ArcGIS 10, uh, you will find me in every lecture and I will deliver all the lectures here. So if you find any question, if you find any questions, if you find any problems, please do not hesitate to contact me. My email address is a b b e r s at the rate of gmail.com or you can log in to Facebook www.facebook.com slash learn gs for us. Thank you. Okay, so in this lecture you will learn data view, layout view, different toolbar, catalog, and polar options and other things of ArcGIS 10. These are the very basic things and I'm going to give you a very basic overview of ArcGIS 10 so that you can understand the all the basic parts of ArcGIS that you have to work with throughout the lectures. So I made this lecture only for you to make you understand the basic parts and basic tools that you have to use always. Okay, so let's go to the ArcGIS 10. Okay, so if you go to the uh, from the start and I guess then we'll find that the, there are several and different tools our catalog, our administrator, our globe, our map, and our scene. So I'm going to describe each of the, I'm going to describe all of them briefly. Then I'm going to uh, work with our map today. So our catalog, our catalog is nothing but it manages data, spatial data, shape file, and everything. Uh, that means our catalog is dedicated for managing data. Okay, ArcGIS is nothing. ArcGIS is administrative tool because it manages your license, your um, there are several extension toolboxes, everything it manages. Our globe, our globe is also nothing, but it mm, it, it has some uh, global imagery. So you can uh, go over there. You can um, explore data of images from there. ArcMap. ArcMap is the heart of ArcGIS, so we will use this throughout our lectures. ArcGIS is nothing. ArcGIS, ArcSyn 10 is mm, dedicated for 3D representation of our spatial data. So I may not uh, teach you about this, but it's very simple. You can try it yourself. Okay, so I'm going to uh, open ArcMap 10 today. Yeah, so uh, after getting this map started, you will get uh, getting started art map uh, window. So uh, if you want to use blank map or whatever and however you want, you can do because there are some several options here. So if you want to uh, create, okay, create, do this. Okay, so this is the basic and uh, interface of art map. So we have seen that we will see the data view. Data view. So the basic and main two components of ArcMap is uh, here is the data view and another one is layout view. Data views is nothing but here in this um, you analyze, you create shape file. Everything whatever you do, you have to do in data view. And in layout view, layout view is the view where you will create a map, where you will put symbol, grid, not arrows, everything here in layout view so in the final lecture that means in the last lecture uh, entitled as preparing or finalize a map so you'll see 
uh, the function of this view so okay so we will mainly concentrate on data view because it is very important for us okay so this is the data view functions so this is a table of contents all the layers is generally stored here for example if i want to uh, so all the layers for example reverse for example reverse of a country boundary or any geomorphic boundary everything will be stored here sequentially and that is very it is really very powerful options to put off put on all the layers and which 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 layer you are interested in you can put off put on so so this table of contents is really very helpful for you so i'm going to show you how to do that okay there's several uh tools are here that you will um, paste every time you go or you will use this okay so i'm gonna show you two basic tools number one tools toolbar and standard toolbar so i'm gonna uh show you at first the standard toolbar what is standard toolbar so using standard toolbars you can save open and new map files it's really very easy and the very important things add data file generally we do use this tool to add data here okay so we have seen that uh, we can go from this catalog view what is catalog view i'm going to show you later so you can go to search window you can go to the art toolboxes we can go to the python window we can go to the model builder window so from the standard toolbars so this is very important definitely we must have to go from this otherwise we have to reopen so it's very time consuming you can go from here okay so another tools bar and another to another tool but it's tools tool but here you will you will see zoom in zoom out pan toolbar full extent big zoom in so I, i'm going to show you uh, of individual tools function don't worry identity uh find go to the xy and tools okay so these are the mm, uh, main two tools bar you will use throughout the lectures okay there are other lots of tools are here added in rgs 10 it depends upon your functionality so what you do what is your objective what is your purpose you have to find out so where's the other tools if you right click here then you will see all the tools all the tools toolbar okay so depending upon your purpose depending upon your objectives you can find out this so mostly we will use this editor toolbar theory analyst uh, georeferencing toolbar leveling image classification layout network analyst uh, spatial analyst standard toolbar here this is standard toolbar okay table topology and whatever there are lots of tools are here okay so depending upon your objective you can uh, add this okay Another important option is catalog. So what is catalog? Catalog is nothing but heart of the arc, arc map 10. Why heart of the arc map 10? Because all the tools bars are stored here. Toolboxes, my toolboxes, system toolboxes. So all the toolboxes are stored in system toolboxes here. So you can go to the specific toolboxes and a specific tool. So if you want, okay, you can go to this here. So there are another important options folder options so you can go to the specific folder to add to remove to edit to modify whatever you want from the folder options so you do not have to go to my computer then go to the folder so you can do this here easily you can go to the specific folder specific something like that for example if you go to if you add some data from here then you can easily do that for example this is a shape file data and you will see according to that are used okay you can easily see that is projection system and geography projection system everything whatever you want okay yes so these are the arc catalog so you'll find the toolboxes folder connections home toolboxes these are toolboxes nothing default is here um, okay so there are the database service if you use uh, in network connection if you use the different computers in the same server then you can use this database connection GIS servers tracking connection so if you were um, with, if, if you were with a uh, server then you have to use this okay so I'm not gonna concentrate on this okay so add this here so we're gonna add some data here 
data for example this tick project so you can add okay so in your first lecture you may not have uh, this options here so i have added the folder connection right c e d e e this is the drive so if you do not have these drives are here stored then you can add those drives here connect the folder so for example uh, if you do want to connect this research library or whatever drive you have in a computer then you can click this okay then this drive will automatically be added here and you can use this letter okay uh, these are the new folders so if you want to create a new folder here you can do this this you can go back to this on a one level up, up one level so go back back so you can use this okay so i'm gonna so i'm gonna add some data so using this portion so you, you can use you can use add you can use this toolbar to add data otherwise we have another options as well add data here so we can do this both so if you want to add data for example this project so and the data of Bangladesh map okay so using these tools you can zoom in using this tool zoom out toolbar tool pen you can pen however you want and if you want full extent that means it will be full extent uh, this will be fixed zoom in fixed zoom out and if you go back to previous extent Yeah, we can do that easily. So I'm the pen. And the tool is select feature by rectangle. For example, these are the district map of Bangladesh. So if you want to select particular district, for example, this, you can click it here to be automatically selected here. Now I'm going to show you what is the significance of this tool in second, especially in mm, database preparation and database building and map analysis here. And if you want to deselect it, deselect it. Okay. So identify if you uh, want particular districts information, then what you can do there? Yes. For example, DB district code, district name is Neil Pamari, division name is Rashahi. So all the information of this district will be available here. So this is the scale measure. And if you want to uh, measure something for example this and this then uh, this district here so if you distance unit kilometers things it is 52 kilometers something like this okay so if we this is the, this is the major line and this is the major an area so if you want to area measure an area area of this at the square at the radius at the square kilometers and at the kilometer perimeter and segment like that okay so measure feature um, of this feature so you can easily identify particular this feature uh, area at the acres or at the areas right so i'm gonna uh, things area, area kilometer okay so at the square kilometers uh, 1,680.08 square kilometers and its perimeter is 239 as a kilometer so over perimeter something like that okay so you can do that in measures or just show total on a so you can use the planner geodetic loxodromic uh, geodetic but we do use planner we do not use geodetic but it depends upon your objective so if you want to use this you can use that so this is a major toolbox and if you go to the specific location uh, if you want to go a specific location for example if you, are, if you have latitude and longitude data then you can put it here and you can go that location specifically okay and degree minutes second it can be degree minutes second it can be uh, degree decimal so i'll you will get an overview about these degree minutes second degree decimal meters in next second lecture projection and coordinate system okay so this is the basic things basic introduction of RGI. so i'm going to show you another important things of arc map can
add data, uh, add base map. So uh, you can add base map because ArcMap here, while you install the software, automatically huge database of topographic map, elevation map, uh, everything will be in, uh, installed in your computer as well. So you can add those maps any satellite images, any topographic map, any digital elevation map, whatever. So if you click to the add base map, then you will see different options here. Uh, generally, it takes time because it's a huge database. And if your computer configuration is very low, then it will take more time. And if your computer configuration is good, then it will take less time. OK. So you will see. Uh, being maps aerial, being map hybrid, being road, imagery, open street map, oceans, stairs, terrain, topographic, US topo map. So I'm gonna use imagery, that means what is the satellite images of this, this area. So add, so particular uh, areas imagery will be added here. And it will take time sometimes, yeah because it's a huge uh, map and it's a huge uh, bulky data that is so it will take time uh, it's, it's coming in so you have to be patient you don't have to be hurry uh, it's coming you have to wait for a moment Sometimes uh, it becomes hang. Yeah. So don't worry about that. It will come once. <laughs> it depends upon your computer configuration. So this does mean that my computer configuration is not good enough to uh, load it fast. Um, scamming mm, scamming not a hurry <laughs> scamming I apologize uh, for being this slow uploading because my computer configuration is not so good so if you have very high configuration then it will take uh, it will never take time yeah came here and it will take time it will take time Okay, so we'll make it hollow. It is hollow. Okay. So bang on this boundary. If we if you span, it will take time as well. Okay, so don't worry about that. So in this way, you can add your base map uh, from here. Base map, the several base map you can add even. Um, Imagery, topographic map, terrain, streets, uh, light gray, colors, or whatever you want. Okay, so this is one of the important things of our map 10. Uh, I'm gonna give you some overview about this area's geology. <laughs> this is the, the one of the regional important pieces, Shilong Plateau, and this is the world largest river system, Brahmaputra river system, here. This is the Chittagong Polar Belt, where the this whole Indian plate and this is the Myanmar plate, and these are these are these are collisional plate, collisional boundary. That you see that that you see that this is a hilly region here. And you'll also see that here. These are also the hilly region. This is probably this is Nepal, and the Himal. These are the called the uh, 
uh, Himalayan mountain system here <coughs> it develops here. this is the India this is the Bangladesh and this is the Bay of Bengal uh, most interestingly the Bay of Bengal has one of the important uh, continental shelf and economic region this is source of no ground world biggest source of no ground and this is a Bengal fan this is called fan where the all the sediments are accumulating here okay so these are the basic thing or basic introduction of ArcGIS. I hope you understand the introduction. Okay, I'm gonna see you in next lecture, projection and coordinate system. I hope you will join this and you'll enjoy that. Thank you very much.